Hello and welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Simone Bryan and this is the Local Roundup. How about we start with a little bit of Colorado Soul this morning? They got us in a trap. In a trap. And want to keep Candidate us Mike Dunnifin, the mayor of Glendale, Colorado, is now running for governor with a one-of-a-kind tactic. Dunnifin's campaign has confirmed talk about a three-day get-out-the-vote festival over Halloween weekend at Infinity Park in Glendale with none other than Snoop Dogg. But Dunnifin didn't just stop there. Oh no, he even recorded a music video with Wyclef Jean that attacks the anti-marijuana campaign pushed by current governor John Hickenlooper. Get the money out. So we can get along. While Snoop Dogg may electrify fans and voters, our electric co op is now juicing your bank accounts with refunds. La Plata Electric Association customers should receive a billing credit in November if they have paid an electric bill between 1993 and 2013. The customers will share $4.5 million in capital credits. Anything over $100 will be written out in check form. And it looks like the city's going to be cutting a check for Horse Gold's trail. From the parking lot at Horse Gold's to just shy of Metal Loop will be closed through Thursday. The public is asked to use a different route until construction is finished. In other trail news, letters of support will be signed by the Dolores trustees for grant proposals sought by the San Juan National Forest on two trails. One grant is for $105,000 from Colorado Parks and Wildlife Labor to complete the Overlook Trail. Cocopelli Bike Club, Greater Dolores Action, Crow Canyon, and a few others are also pitching in on funds and labor to finish the six-mile trail that begins in Dolores and connects the House Creek Trails together. The final grant decisions will be made in 2015. It's always a treat to see wildlife on the trails. And it looks like the ancient roamers of our Durango and Silverton lands are getting some much needed habitat improvement. The old telegraph lines between Durango and Silverton that fell over the trees, the ground and cliff sides became a deadly trap for the bighorn sheep. Now volunteers are helping to clear out the wire around the forest areas, making it safer for wildlife. Today at 2 p.m. on All Things Beer, we celebrate the fall with a little pumpkin beer. Yes, that lovely round orange gourd is a tantalizing ingredient for a tasty seasonal craft brew. This is also our final show for the season of All Things Beer, but we will be back in the spring with new episodes of All Things Beer. Till then, cheers. Although drinking isn't recommended at the FLC game tonight, you can always have a cold one watching the Skyhawks on the small screen. That's right, Fort Lewis College football is going to be broadcast live on CBS tonight at 6 p.m. And Four Corners TV's Laura got an inside scoop on what the players think about this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Catch the story today on In the Neighborhood only on FourCornersTV.com. Thanks for watching the local roundup. I'm Simone Bryant, and we'll see you tomorrow.